Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman and it's Azure Friday. Did you know that an Azure SRE agent can not only detect an incident, but also propose and safely mitigate the issue automatically? Deepthi Chalupati is here to tell me how it works today on Azure Friday. Hey friends, it's Azure Friday. I'm here with Deepthi, who's going to teach me all about the SRE agent. How are you? I'm good, Scott. Thanks for having us here. Yeah, this is great. I know we announced SRE agent in preview at Build, but we're getting to the point now where everyone can sign up and try it out. It's supposed to be pretty amazing. And I think it's one of those things that you have to see to believe. That's right. So here I am to show you the whole end-to-end -end incident management experience using an SRE agent. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go ahead and share your screen. All right. We are in East US, it looks like. Yes. So yeah, um, SRE Agent is now available in both Sweden Central and East US for customers to use. So in this, uh, you know, what I'm trying to show you is uh, typically customers manage their incidents and incident management tools like PagerDuty, ServiceNow, or even Azure Monitor Alerts. Uh, mm -hmm. What I have, here is I hooked up uh, the SRE agent to a service now instant management tool, and uh, and I have an app. You know, you may have ordered food on Grubhub before, right? Uh, how do you feel? You know, if if you try to add to cart and you're not able to order food, I don't know about you. I mean, but as a service provider, I would sort of be very worried because my customers are not actually ordering food. So I would love to have a SRE agent actually diagnose this and mitigate the issue for me right away. So you're hitting add to cart and the customer is seeing nothing. Maybe it's throwing a 500 error. Maybe we're seeing code break somewhere. Some API call is failing. At this point, I would expect my pager to blow up. Someone would call my phone. They're waking me up at two in the morning to fix the website. Exactly. So, you know, uh, this incident just popped up, as you can see, and the Saudi agent actually started to analyze it. But uh, I actually pre-baked the issue for you so we can actually go through what the SRE agent does. So I'll switch to that. Is that okay for okay. you? Yeah, okay. So what happened is that the thing starts throwing errors, the cart's not responding, that raises an incident. And ordinarily, I would get a page and I would go in and do an investigation. It's starting that investigation before I woke up. Exactly. And uh, you know what cool with SRE agent is you can actually define how the incident can be handled by the agent. We call it a response plan. And in that you can set it up like, you know, if you want to be fully autonomous or if you want to actually have someone work with the agent to resolve it as well. I see. This is an important point because, you know, not everyone is excited about this stuff. So you might want a human in the loop and you get to decide how in the loop you want to be. Exactly. And, uh, you know, as you can see now, the incident came in and the SRE agent starts to actually show the execution plan. And this plan, it's important here is the agent already has some built in plans for different kinds of scenarios and services that Azure has. Uh, but the cool thing is you can also customize the plan. You can actually define, uh, you know, you can imagine you may have some run books which you already worked on for so long. Give those instructions to the agent so the agent can also use them along with its own knowledge to handle the incident. I see. So you've got the standard site down, restart the site, but these are custom ones here where you've been very specific and you want a GitHub issue, I can see, that you want assigned if it uh, breaks. Exactly. And I'll get you get into how the analysis it does, like, you know, both diagnosis and even root cause analysis that the agent can do. Uh, let's walk through the whole plan and the actually what the agent does. So this is very detailed uh, plan it comes up with. And it doesn't mean that the user is writing this, by the way. All the user does is they can actually provide just in a natural language. These are my instructions. And the agent generates this whole plan, including the tools it will use to perform those actions. Yeah, tool calling is a really important part about this because it's making a plan based on your custom instructions. And these are effectively functions or tools that it can call to get the information that it would need, which is something you would be doing anyway if you were awake and in charge of managing this, uh, this site incident. 
exactly so let's see now first it says this is the plan i'm going to follow and the next thing is the way i set up the plan i also told it to update the service now discussion summary with everything that it's doing it's almost like you know if i were to handle the ticket and i would go update my findings or the status every time that's what the sre agent does so if let's say users are used to getting their feed from service now either via email or their you know chat client uh, they can receive those updates because sre agent is posting these discussion uh, in the service now itself yeah this is super helpful like even if you don't want it in autonomous mode that number 4 there pull cpu memory and availability metrics for correlation that's tedious, boring work that no one likes to do and everyone has to do. Uh, having it put that in the service now ticket is going to make it a lot easier for a human to reconcile this later. Exactly. So what it does based on the plan, in this case, because you know that uh, add to cart was not working, it starts with the metrics. It looks at the metrics and sees, okay, uh, memory, everything looks good. Then it goes ahead and look, looks at the application logs. There it finds an out of memory exception. And it does some correlation to the request volume. And it goes, okay, is it an application problem or is it a platform problem? And it rules that out and then makes a decision to actually go ahead and scale up. So all this, you can imagine if someone was doing it on their own, it would take a lot of time. And agent can do it very quickly because it has access to the data sources and the tools and your instructions. Okay. So we're continuing to scroll down and you're showing us, we can see the timestamps. It's make it's it's telling everything that it's doing. So at every point we're seeing what's happening. Nothing's happening automatically unless we choose to have it happen. Now it's fixed its plan and now it's actually calling functions. Exactly. Because, you know, it finished analysis and we asked it to uh, mitigate it. It actually does update the app because it's scaling up. So it did the mitigation. And uh, in, in this case, because it was an out of memory exception, it chose to scale up the app. And after that, it actually continues to monitor, did that mitigation fix the issue or not? And for that, it's again um, pulling the same metrics for a period of time to see if everything is stabilizing. And this also you can define, how long do you want to monitor? That's really cool. Like it could just say, well, I scaled it, it's fine now. But I saw that part where it said, I'm going to watch this for the next little while. And here it's saying recovery looks stable, no 500 errors recently. Uh, and it's opening, look at that, it's opening a GitHub issue. Yes. And, and the part with the GitHub issue is there is additional functionality which we added where you can imagine in the real world, okay, you mitigated it. Now the uh, app is back up and running and your customers are happy. But you would want to actually know what the root cause is and also go fix the real problem so that this doesn't surface again. And mm -hmm. uh, in reality, people would choose war rooms, bring in multiple people. But what if SRE agent has access to the source code and can do that analysis for you right away and pinpoint the exact code where the problem is? That's what SRE agent does. So in this case, it creates an issue. I'll walk you through what it did. So first, it shows like the uh, analysis it did, the logs and the metrics and the evidence, and the root cause it's pointing to. So it's using semantic search in GitHub and saying, OK, this is all what happened. Go tell me what are the source code files that are closely matching this. And SRE agent gets that code and actually pinpoints the uh, source code and the uh, corresponding code that's a problem. And it does recommend some changes. So in addition to that, what it also does is, is there a drift in the infrastructure as code from your source code and the cloud configuration? Because we just also scaled up. So it finds that in the source code, the configuration is different from what we just changed it to in the cloud. So it also suggests to go make some changes. Interesting. So what it's doing is it's saying, here's how I fixed it. You may not want to do that. You may not want to like hide this memory leak. It's pretty clear that you broke this on purpose because I saw that it's making a 10 megabyte uh, allocation and not cleaning it up. So it's like, well, I can hide that for you, but here's what I think you should do. Assign it to engineering and implement these code fixes. That's pretty cool. And here, 
it didn't, does it stop? It actually assigned it to co-pilot and the co-pilot went ahead and fixed and cut a PR for me. So, oh, wow. And that was an optional thing. I saw that you put that in the custom instructions. That's something that you could do as well. So you've gone from the SRE agent, the site reliability agent, to the development agent. And there are now two agents that are different agents talking to each other. Yes. And based on the information that the SRE agent gave, the coding agent actually comes up with the solution. And all I, all the developer now has to see is the files that got changed. So it actually updated the source code, removed that code that was causing the out of memory exception. And now, you know, the whole end to end thing is done. And in service now, it actually marks the issue as resolved and gives the whole summary. So we went from like, you know, the issue got opened around at uh, 518 to 534. In 15 minutes, the whole issue is resolved end to end. Mm, that's so cool. And again, at, you can decide at which points you want it to stop. So in this completely autonomous example, notified, diagnosed, repaired, and got it back into production in 15 minutes. If you wanted, you could have ServiceNow pause and wait for an approval. You could have Copilot pause, wait for an approval. You could have code reviews pull request notifications. It's totally up to you how you want to be involved in this experience. Exactly. And uh, I have one more thing I wanted to show you uh, today. Sure. Awesome. So, you know, what we did is if you just saw the incident management, like, you know, end to end, how SRE agent actually diagnosed it, mitigated, even performed root cause analysis and gave you what to go fix in your source code. One thing that customers uh, keep telling me is you know, most of the issues happen at the deployment stage. And uh, also, you know, a lot of times I start my day by looking at uh, the dashboards for what's changed or what's different that I should be thinking about. So that made us think of this new feature that we are working on and uh, will be available soon is called scheduled tasks. So I'm seeing here that you're asking it to do a site reliability related task for you, which is like, do a health check. And, you know, I don't like the way that this thing made me feel. Help me make it not happen again. And in this case here, it's going and scheduling a deployment health check, a smoke check of sorts to make sure that you don't have this happen again. Exactly. And just with the prompt again, you can set up a scheduled task. So what it does is it sets up this drone job. And uh, you can make it just to provide you information or alert you or more actionable. So in this case, I chose this uh, case as it's more uh, relevant to my customers is if you find any recent deployment, perform health check and roll back right away. And this you know, helps me to proactively identify things and also prevent any incidents from happening. Uh, so this is how the task once you create it it looks like but i also have a task that actually ran and i can show you what the agent does let's do it so in this case the scheduled task got executed so again um, you know if you see this whole instructions it generated it all i gave was a paragraph prompt and it comes up with a structure of like uh, I'll actually show you how it looks like. So it, it comes up with like, what is its goal and scope, execution steps, and any constraints, and how it should report the uh, update back to, back to me, like, you know, how the output should look like. And you wrote that agent prompt, and that can be a best practice. You could share it with coworkers, it can be used on other projects, or did it generate that prompt for you? So the agent actually generates a whole prompt. I can share it with my coworkers where they can create a task just by copy pasting the whole thing, or they, they can even take the initial text I had and still have the agent generated for them. Very cool. And, and this is something we can sign up for now. Where would I learn more information about this? Uh, so uh, all the capabilities I've shown you, customers can actually uh, go to you know aka.ms slash SRE agent and sign up for the product. And there is a learn page where they can learn about the product and also how to use this. Some of the capabilities like the scheduled tasks is coming up soon, uh, but you know they can stay tuned for the new features that we roll out uh, every week. 
every week. And that's a really important thing to call out because this was announced in preview at Build. Customers can sign up again at aka.ms slash SREAgent, but it's getting better every week. And I think what's great about robots and AI is that it should do stuff that is dull, dirty, and dangerous. And messing around in production is kind of dangerous and pulling logs is super dull. So this definitely can make an SRE's job a lot more interesting and a lot more fun. Thanks so much for sharing this with me today. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, and customers can give us feedback in right in the product. So uh, looking forward to that. Fantastic. I am learning all about how SRE Agent, Azure SRE Agent, can make my life easier today on Azure Friday. Mm-hmm.